I like, I like this multi-storey. Look at that multi-storey. It's very grim in like 60s. You know. We're on Bonnie Street here. Can you see? I can't see fuck all this, it's really hot and the sun's really glaring. I used to come to Blackpool a lot because I used to work for this manager who managed Chubby Brown and um, when Chubby Brown had a gig in, a, in a, a particular town, I'd go to that town and poster it up for him. He didn't know. I did it for the manager, really. So I'd always come back to come to Blackpool, then go off all over the country doing adventures. I didn't like it at the time because I had um, a bee in my bonnet that I should be a stand-up, and I wasn't looking as well. Um, but looking back, it was a good job, really. But there you go. Yeah. I'm trying to make a documentary about Blackpool. This is Donna's dream house. Um, and we see these like kind of cute flower people. You know. Um, let us walk Blackpool Tower in the distance. Yeah. Um, we're now on um, OK Street, look. Can we see that? OK. Right. It's sad how loads of um, small businesses are closing, really. And because of these gas and electric prices, is, they can't compete. They can't even tick over. It's happening all over the place. The world's changing. Globalisation. I don't want to lecture you. You know, but there's a way to these folk have gone. Um, this is another sad one. Chip is closed. Breaks my heart when a chippy closes, you know. Some kind of house there that's boarded up. I filmed this street before. Well, I thought I had, and I was walking down the street, and um, it, um, I, hadn't, I hadn't had my camera on. Right, I'll try it again. Hello, I'm still in Blackpool. I'm joined by Samuel. Is this the hotel and apartment social? Hotel and apartment. How long have you lived in Blackpool, Samuel? 40 years. 40 years? Yeah. Have you noticed any changes in that time? A lot of changes. How, how's it gone? Is it, is it better? Is it worse? Not worse. How, in what way? Derelict buildings. Derelict buildings. Yeah. A lot of businesses closed. Yeah. Has it got rougher? Got well, rougher up to at night. Yeah, yeah. Not really safe to go up to at night. No, no. Um, is this your local then? Yes, it's my local. Is it still doing well? Is it still? It like, seems to be doing well. That's a good thing in this day and age, really. There are a few clubs that have closed. Yeah, yeah, but um, so you're having, a, you're having a bit of sunshine and a fag? Just sunshine and a smoke. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Have you're a lovely day. You're welcome. Bye bye. You can see here another business that appears to have closed. Another one over here, Lions Bar and Grill, Rock Spice, and another one up there. That, that is a cafe here. Lords, isn't that? There's 103 cafe shut. It's that kind of um, bit derelict round here, that Samuel just said. Something here, this is a quite an interesting building, but we can see it. I'm going to get run over. That would be that would be good for TikTok. That me getting run over and lots of people would click on that one. This building looks quite interesting.
A lot of these lot think I'm from DWP, you know. But yeah. Dereliction. Dereliction. There's another Blackpool resident I think I'm gonna interview. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, what do you think about Blackpool? Has it changed? Um, how's it going on? Are you going on for strange in these days? Is, is there rich pickings and stuff? Okay. He doesn't want to talk to me, you know. Can't win them all. Just been talking to two local lads who don't want to be filmed. The, this cafe, uh, the Cafe Stevonia. I've just learned an interesting fact about Cafe Stevonia, right? The last man in the country to be hanged was caught in this chippy, James Hanratty. They wouldn't be filmed and all that, but there you go. Um, if you're on the run or anything, don't fucking come here for fish and chips because um, it, it won't end well for you, you know. Thank you very much. Bear's gone here. Oh! The Central Picture Theatre, Grade 2 listed. And these, could, these were comedians everywhere, didn't they? They're anywhere, they're nowhere now. Times change, kids, times change. Hello, I'm, I'm, uh, I've got, I'm joined with uh, Mark. What's the channel called? Blackpool and Beyond. Blackpool and Beyond on YouTube. Um, I just want to ask you some questions. He doesn't want to be on camera. Um, has Blackpool changed over the years? I've lived here 20 years. Yeah, yeah. It has slightly changed. They keep trying to improve Blackpool. Like every town now, it's got its bad parts and its good parts. But they are trying to improve Blackpool. I've noticed loads of businesses derelict and, and boarded up. A lot of empty shops. Was that after Covid or has it just... Been there like that before. Before it's that, like yeah. That before. It's, it's the death of the high street. Yeah. Death of the high street now, unfortunately. Um, and it's the same in every town. Yeah, You know, yeah. a lot of people will come here and they will they will knock Blackpool, but every town is the same in the UK now. Yeah, I yeah. don't think we're one of the worst. No. I watch a lot of YouTube videos of other towns and I think we stand up quite well, to be honest with you. Fair play to you. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm originally from London, but I've been here 20 years. Mm. So I've seen a lot of things go down here, but I've seen a lot of improvements as well. Well, that's good. That's a positive note to end it on. But thank you for your time, Mark. Have a lovely day. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.